Okay, so now we're moving on to some harder stuff. Concrete. Doing cameras into sheetrock or ceiling tiles is easy work, and you can always make that hole a little bigger when you need to. Chris, what do we need to actually mount into cinder block or concrete? Uh, well, the main thing you have to do is get through the concrete first. Uh, okay. You gotta get all the way from one side to the other. Okay. Um, Whoa! Why do you need such a big drill bit? This is actually a big enough bit uh, to get us all the way through from one end to the other okay. uh, through, through a cinder block. All right. But it's also big enough in diameter to get an RG59 Siamese cable through. All right, so it's important to make the hole big enough, otherwise you're going to be drilling this hole twice. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got the hole all done. Chris has already fished the wire through for us. And if you notice here, even though he used that big drill bit, to fit the Siamese wire through there, it's still not big enough to fit all the connections back into the structure. That's where these little boxes come in real handy. This is about a four inch gang box you could get at your local Home Depot or Lowe's. Chris, tell me why we would want to use one of these. Well, it's a, it's a weather tight seal. You don't mm -hmm. have to worry about anything. Once it's covered up, you don't have to worry about water getting through, uh, bugs, any, any, anything that shouldn't be in the wall, okay. in the wall. All right, very good. Another great thing about using a box like this is if you were to mount this to the concrete structure and mount your camera to the front of the box, if you ever have any service work, you're not having to take out the anchors or any of that out of the concrete. You're just going to remove the plate here, do your service work, reinstall the plate, and you're good to go. All right, you level the box, mark your holes. All right, make sure you wear eye protection and ear protection. All right, we got the wires coming through the wall now, terminated with the BNC connection. Chris is using concrete anchors to mount the box to the concrete. You're going to want to silicone the back of the box and also silicone around the camera where it meets the plate of the box. Chris is putting on the 2.1 millimeter power plug right now. Plugging in the 2.1, plugging in the BNC. Looking good, Chris. Okay, so let's go over something that's very important. We all the time run into customers who've installed their cameras directly to a rain gutter 
or directly to their metal structure. Maybe it's a, a new business park building, which is very popular, or even a mini storage. Chris, tell me why we should not mount cameras directly to the metal building. Well, it's a real bad idea. I mean, simply enough, the builder doesn't always use the same ground as the electrician. Once you do that, you create a, a potential, which in itself is voltage. Now you have very, you know, errant voltage running across your video cable, which a lot of times turns out to be lines, looks like hum on the screen. Okay. Uh, tell us about possible surge or lightning. It, does it raise the risk of having it directly mounted to the metal structure? Oh yeah, absolutely. Anything that lightning can see is a potential way to ground. Is, is definitely a path that it can also take to your camera. All right, so once again, we come back to these little PVC boxes that you could get at your local supplier. And by doing this, you're actually gonna isolate the camera from the structure and actually protect your investment for a long time.